Today we will be talking about the eventual consistency. We've talked about the consistency in two different videos on this channel. The first was when we talked about the ACID compliance. In ACID, the consistency means that the database should help in ensuring the correct state of the data, which means that if we have any constraints, triggers, or the cascading rules on our tables, the database should make sure that it follows those rules when inserting the new data. We will not be talking about the ACID and the consistency from that angle in this video, but if you're interested in that, I have a separate video on this channel, which I have linked in the description below. Secondly, we talked about the consistency when we were discussing the CAP theorem, which is mainly about the distributed systems and consistency in that context means that the data should be consistent across all nodes of a distributed system. Let's break it down and see what do we mean by the consistency and the eventual consistency in terms of a distributed system. So first of all, what is a distributed system? A distributed system is any system that consists of two or more systems. Some examples would be a food application, which from the user's perspective is just one application. But behind the scenes, there might be several different systems. For example, there might be a order service, there might be a payment service, there might be account service, there might be a separate loyalty service, and so on. Another example would be a database, which might consist of several different nodes where the same data is replicated across all the nodes, so we can read the same data from any of the nodes. Let's focus on the food application for now. Let's say that our food application is split across two services, an order service where the orders are placed and a separate service for the stats where different kinds of reports are generated. For example, the user can check the number of orders that they have placed and so on. So what would be the consistency in this system? Consistency in this system would mean that whenever we place a new order, the stats API should have the valid count for the number of orders that the user has placed. For example, if I have placed five orders, the stats API should return and tell me that I have five orders. On a high level, there are two different ways of achieving this consistency. First one would be to update the order count as soon as the user places a new order. So let's say that the user places a new order. We will create the order in the order service and the order service is then going to call the stats service to update the order count. And once that is done, we will send the response to the customer telling them that the order has been placed. In this way, whenever we'll have a new order, we will keep updating the order count in the stat service. And this way, the data will never be in the inconsistent state. Consistency achieved in this manner is called strong consistency, meaning that the data is never inconsistent across any of the nodes of the distributed system. But there is one issue with this approach. Let's say that our stat service has a lot of complex logic and it has started taking too much time to update the orders count. Now, according to our current implementation, it would mean that even though the user's order has been created, we will keep the user waiting because the order service is not going to return the response because it is busy making sure that the stats service has a correct number of orders. To tackle this issue, we go with a different approach to achieve the consistency. So we modify the order service in such a way that whenever a user places an order, it is not going to wait for the stats service to update the order count. And it is just going to return the OK response to the user and just create the order. Now, we fix the issue of performance and our orders are created much faster with this implementation. But having this implementation would mean that our data is going to be inconsistent because we are never updating the order count in the stat service. To fix that, we implement some kind of a background job, such as a cron job, or we use queues that is continuously checking for the new orders and keep updating the order count in the stat service to make sure that our order count in the stat service matches the actual number of orders that we have received. So this way we will have the inconsistent data for some time, but as soon as the background job runs, our data is going to be eventually consistent. And that is what the eventual consistency is, that the system will be in the inconsistent state for some time, but it is eventually going to be consistent. All right, now to summarize, here is everything that we covered in this lesson. A distributed system is a system with state split across multiple different systems. Consistency is having the consistent state across all nodes of a distributed system. Strong consistency means that our system is never in an inconsistent state. And eventual consistency is having the system in an inconsistent state for some time, but the data is eventually going to be consistent. 
And that is all for this one. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.